Okay, so this will be some extra help on page 129. All right, so this is page 129 here. And let's start and look at some of these questions to help you if you need help. So we have custom printing costs and we've got the different quantities in increments of 25. And then there's mugs and t-shirts. So these represent the total amount if you were purchasing that amount of mugs or shirts. So let's look at the first one. If you wanted to buy 25 mugs, it would cost you $107.25. If you wanted to buy 25 t-shirts, it would cost $237.50. So as you go, you might notice that here you would expect that if we kept the price per mug the same, that this would be exactly double of this. So I should expect this number to be something like $214.50, but it is not. That tells us that as you buy more, the price per mug or price per t-shirt goes down. So this first question is asking you, what is the price per mug for 25 coffee mugs? So it's looking for how much would one mug cost in this quantity? Okay, so let's talk about, we're not going to do that exact question, but let's talk about this. What's the price per mug for 75 mugs? All right, so let's look here. For 75 mugs, it would cost $261.75. So that means to find the price of one, I just need to simply do this division. Okay, let me double check myself here. Okay, so finding the price per mug over this amount is as simple as doing this division. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of quickly go through this division. All right, so I have, how many groups of 75 can I make from 261? My prediction here, using this strategy, is that since seven would, I could make three groups of seven from 26, I'm gonna predict that I can probably make three groups of 75, or at least it will be close. Okay, and it is close. So I am making three groups of 75, and I'm going to continue on here, okay? Now I have how many groups of 75 can I make from 367, okay? Using that same strategy, thinking about the 7, thinking about the 36 here, I think maybe 5, but maybe 4, okay? So let me try five and see what happens, and I might have to adjust down to four groups, okay? And I do. So since this is 75 and this was pretty close, I do have to adjust down to four groups, okay? I make sure to place my decimal point. All right, so four groups of 75 is just gonna be 75 less than this, which would be 300, okay? And then I have my last division here, okay? So again, I've got seven, I think about 67. That makes me think of nine, okay? So let me try. I can't go any higher than nine, obviously, all right? Because I couldn't put a single digit there, okay? And nine is exactly the number, okay? I'm gonna have zero left over. So my price per mug at 75 mugs is $3.49. I made sure to keep my decimal point exactly where it should be. I added my dollar sign and there's my answer. All right, let's look at this next set of problems. This is about a movie rental website. So it says a movie rental website charges $5 per month for membership and $1.25 per movie. This means that no matter how many movies you buy, you're going to pay $5 every single month, no matter what. So it says, how many movies did Andrew rent this month if this month's bill was $16.25? Well, we're going to do a different version, just like the last time. What if your bill was $12.50? Okay, so what I said before is no matter what, you are spending $5 per month. So I'm going to go ahead and start by subtracting that $5 because I want to know how many movies did you rent, okay? And we're not keeping the $5 as part of that because that's what you have to pay no matter what, okay? So I am paying $7.50 for movies and the movies cost $1.25 each. 
So this is what I'm essentially doing here. Okay, I'm dividing these two numbers because I'm trying to see how many $1.25 movies can I purchase for this amount, okay? So like we have been doing, we're gonna be moving the decimal point or multiplying by 100, okay? So now I'm seeing how many groups of 125 can I make from 750. Okay, if I look here at my one and my seven, I might think it might go in seven times, but I think it'll be pretty tight. I'm gonna actually try six and just see what happens, okay? All right, and it turns out that six is exactly the right amount of movies, okay? So that means I would be doing six times $1.25 to get the total 750, and then adding back that $5 membership fee, and there's my bill, 1250. So my answer here is six movies, all right? Let's talk about this last one. It says, Victoria went shopping for ingredients to make a stew. The table shows the weight and cost of each of the ingredients that she bought. So the important thing to keep in mind here, this is the total weight. So she bought 6.3 pounds of potatoes and that costs $7.56. So this is the total cost of the potatoes. So much like the first question, we're thinking about cost per pound. So if I know that the potatoes were 6.3 pounds and they cost $7.56, then I am going to have to figure out the cost for just one pound. So let's figure out the price per pound of the beef, okay? So I've got four pounds of beef and it costs $9.56. If I'm doing a quick estimate here, I could think that the beef is costing about $2 per pound, okay? So I'm going to be dividing here. Okay, I'm gonna divide. Okay, I've got four divided by $9.56 here. Okay, for some of these other ingredients like this, I can tell that it costs more than $1 per pound because if it costs exactly $1 per pound, the cost would have been $6.30. Okay, same thing here. If this costs exactly $1 per pound, my cost would be $8.50, not $15.30. Down here with the bell peppers though, this weight is more than the cost, okay? So if this costs $2.50, or one, excuse me, if this costs $1 per pound, I should expect the cost to be $2.50, but it is less than that, okay? So this is gonna be like the trickiest one here where I need you to really think about how much does one pound cost if it is less than $1 per pound there, okay? We can talk about that one later. So let me go ahead and do this division. I'm finding the price per pound of beef. Okay, so I'm just gonna start, I like to place my decimal point at the beginning. Okay, right, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this division. So this division should be pretty um, straightforward for us, okay? We've got a single digit divisor, all right? And not too many complicated things going on. So the price per pound of beef is $2.39, okay? If you are finding the price per pound of the bell peppers though, you are going to need to think about this instead, okay? All right, so this will be for the bell peppers. So again, you can multiply both of these by 10, move your decimal point, and you can think about this, all right? Okay, so then you're, you're gonna start by thinking, how many groups of 25 can I make here? Out of 12, I can't make any. Place your decimal point and then go from there. 